This is an important show because Blaine has come prepared to deliver the regular season Blaney Awards. This is not the end of the year, Blaney's. Uh, this is the, the Academy Awards. Season. This is like the Golden Globes. I like the Golden Globes. It's the precursor to the Academy Awards at the end. Still looks like George Washington to me. Let's start. Very distinguished. Thank you very <laughs> That's much. That's what it is. Let's start with the uh, offensive MVP. No question, Cody Hoffman is our offensive MVP this season. He has been the most consistent player um, for BYU on the offensive side. Every game he's come prepared to play, regardless of who the quarterback was. If it was Riley Nelson, if it was Taysom Hill, James Lark, he was the go-to guy. You got a third down and you need a big play, number two is your guy. And uh, he's, he's delivered every single week for 12 weeks for this football team. And one of the all-time best performances out of a receiver in BYU history. Defensive MVP, and I know this was a very close vote. Yeah, we're going to go with Brandon Ogletree for his production, not just this year, but all of last year. He's a stalwart in the middle of this defense. He calls all of the defensive signals and gets the guys lined up. And he's a run stopper. And he's so versatile, he'll come up, he'll plug a hole inside, make a play and run. You see him do it just play after play. But he also has the speed to run sideline to sideline and get to the edge. He's an undersized guy that overperforms week after week. He's led this team in tackles all season long. He is our defensive MVP. All right, freshman or rookie of the year. The Blaney goes to Jamal Williams. And what a great job he did. We didn't know what to expect out of him. He had to step in when Michael Lisa was injured, and all he did was put on one of the, uh, the best clinics in running that we've seen out of a freshman in BYU history. He's got the quickness to run away from people. He can make people miss. His ability to accelerate and, and just run by people was displayed all season long. And the thing that surprised me was how tough he was. Not afraid to get his pads down and take on people and run inside the tackles. The top NFL prospect and the Blaney goes to Ziggy Ansah, and he has a body that's made to play in the NFL. He's a freak of nature. You're not supposed to be able to be 260 or 70 pounds and run the way he does. He runs like a strong safety. He terrorized quarterbacks. Teams had to game plan specifically for him to protect the quarterback from him coming off of that edge. And whether he plays linebacker or defensive end in the NFL, he's got the speed to play linebacker if they want him to and the strength to play inside. I think he's got the physical tools to be good for a long time in the NFL. All right, uh, other mentions for Blaney Award winners. Well, our Unsung Hero Award goes to Riley Stevenson, who put BYU in good field position all season long. And, and our most underrated group, the defensive line. That group, they, they're block eaters, and they freed things up for the linebackers like Kyle Van Noy, who we're going to give our Hitman Award. Oh, yeah. Whenever there's a big play to be made on defense, it was a big hit by Kyle Van Noy. Our workhorse um, award goes to the combination of the two fullbacks, Zed Mendenhall and Yona Pritchard, constantly plowing the road mm -hmm. for Jamal Williams and protecting the quarterback. And we're, we're, we added an award, the best understudy in a starring role, no <laughs> question. James Lark stepped into the spotlight in this last game and was incredible. For an understudy to step in, he played like he was a star, and so we're going to give him our understudy of the year award. That's a seven-year understudy award. Yeah, he did a terrific job. He All was right. really good. Good job with the Blaney's Blaine. Thank <laughs> you.